da 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 uh, welcome to Hob News, this week brought to you by M&S Food, um, a birthday cake I guess. Fantastic, um, always it's, good. It's got quite a weight to it, yeah. uh, dense. Welcome Will. Thank you Jack. I wonder if this cake is damp. Moist, could be not moist. damp. Moist. <laughs> That's the word. Um, Hob News, it's always chaos, let's crack on. Um, first things first, it's a heads up in two weeks time Will. Yeah, we're, we're getting farther advanced in terms of the flagging We up like up. it when things happen on a regular basis. Yep. 11th of June, Cafe 43 at Church, Church Lane, Lane Church, full cooked breakfast, yeah, not pop-up cooked breakfast no as pop-up you described it. And Church Lane, you know where that is everybody, it's just off of the soup kitchen uh, on the Cobble Street which is Church Lane, so it's Church Lane on Church Lane, if that makes sense. Need the big it's the whole of Church Lane, that church. Yeah. Yeah. So come to the back door, it's pay as you feel, uh, you'd all be welcome and uh, it's great. Vegetarian it's is available. It's fantastic, um, really, really is Pete good. Pete is our chef, you'll recognise him because he's got the moustache. Uh, but yeah, it's great. It was great. It was last uh, last month was absolutely brilliant. Uh, this month will be uh, the fun. It's nearly June. I can't uh, believe it. Uh, so yes, eleventh of June. Come down. What time is it? Uh, well, we open about nine thirty for coffee and toast, and then breakfast will be ready at around about 10, eleven. Half past ten. Eleven probably. Eleven. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. You're not in the kitchen, so <laughs> saying that yeah, last time I turned up at one because I was uh, my alarm. But it was off. good. It was good. Um, just a shout out if you're a volunteer. Yes, so if you are currently volunteering, check your inbox and please RSVP um, for that. Um, if you haven't seen it, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you think you haven't got the email, let me know and I will add you to the list. What we don't know is what we don't know. It's a quite yes. dull wrong uh, But I think yeah. you'll get the check drift. Your, check your yeah. inbox or at least message one of us yeah. and say, hey, what are you on about? <laughs> Lovely. Um, shout out to Hepsi. We've had another successful week in Cafe 43 with drop-ins and Hepatitis C were back. They were. Deborah, thank you very much indeed. Debbie. Debbie, sorry. I'm just referring <laughs> to her Twitter well, yes. thing. Um, yes, she, uh, they came in. They saw that they had a good steady number of people. It's great. The friends are really interested and come in and go, hey, can I be tested? Because it is their world. Yeah. Um, there is a real danger that they will have that so they can get tested and cured within an hour. Wow, and they get a voucher, a Lidl's voucher, I think. Yeah, for £5 from Aldi. Oh, Aldi, was it? Yeah. Um, Um, But, but, um, yeah, so that was great. Um, Good shout-out to the team, because they've been in a couple of times, and it was really, really good mm. for them to be here. it was, it was it was fantastic. There was a there was a small moment where nobody was coming into the cafe because there was a police car parked outside. <laughs> they were doing a welfare check from somebody in the cafe, but it tends to be if there's a police car outside, <laughs> the numbers are... drop off. Yeah. Weirdly enough, um, <laughs> but yes, thank you very much to Paddy, Debbie, and team for coming in. Um, you were great. Yeah, and we, we love it. we want Cafe Forty Three yeah. to be the centre world, don't we? Yeah. For all those hubs. So our friends can have everything at their fingertips. Yeah, we're working on a couple more drop-ins, which we'll be able to talk about in the next couple of Exciting weeks ahead. Exciting stuff. Which is, which is good. Um, I had a very interesting afternoon on Friday. Oh. Uh, I bumped into Paul uh, and I spoke to Steph on the phone from the Stafford Antiques Emporium, which is just round the bend. It from is here. on, what, Greyfriars opposite Halfords? Greyfriars opposite Halfords. Yeah, and it's a, it's, a, it's a fantastic building. You go in through the front door and you think, oh, I'm just in a regular size shop, and suddenly, this Aladdin's cave Ooh, opens up. An emporium, if an you An emporium, will. yeah. Um, anyway, we're talking a lot about um, working with House of Bread in some way, so I won't go into a lot of details because I'm just having early conversations. But uh, really lovely people, really get what we're about, want to support us, and it means that we can um, become uh, involved in the community in a way that's going to be interesting, and uh, more about that later on. Ooh, why, why are you being so secretive? I think. Well, I haven't buttoned down all the details, and you know what I'm like, I get carried away. Oh, he's, so, he's self-censoring, ladies so and gentlemen. Imagine, he has become self-aware. Right, Panic. Imagine the Antiques Roadshow meets the House of Bread. That sort of combo. Um, okay. But really great. And people can get involved. Fits in with the past life of your own. It does indeed, yes. Mm. But moving on. Um, <laughs> right, I just wanted to do a big shout out to the increased um, extent of the donations coming in. Oh, um, yeah, 100%. Because with everything being tough and difficult, and we all know why that is, um, we were expecting things to be difficult in terms of people thinking, oh, well, they'll go past the food bin, normally put a couple of tins in there, especially if it's a two-for-one offer. Um, and we expected there'd be uh, a reduction. Well, the, annually, there always is a drop-off in food donations yeah. when the weather is warm. But the co-op, Tesco's, um, 
Asda, um, still amazing, and people come into the cafe. So really, quite often we don't see the person who's made the donation. That's, well, I always feel awkward because I'm thinking, well, where's all this come from? Um, so if we haven't said thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, but you're just, just talking about food donations. Oh, general, in general, donations. Um, a couple came in. Um, I don't know if they want me to say their names. So I won't. But they came in on Thursday morning to pick up some flyers because right. they wanted oh, to. Yes, um, thank you, guys. Talk. And then while they were waiting for me to get the flyers together, um, just went on their phone and sent across a uh, financial donation as well. Somebody rang me up the other day and said, hey, what should I donate, food or money? I said, well, there's also toiletries. Yep. You can do all three. You know? and, and then today, we were doing Bread Church, yep. somebody knocked at the door again. I don't know if they want me to say uh, their name, and just handed me 50 pounds. Wow, because uh, we which do I have said, to trade in everything, including for. money. Don't forget to check out the cost of living crisis mm -hmm. videos, because we talk about how everybody is affected. It's not just, um, it's not just, that's the wrong thing to say, but it is affecting everyone, including yeah. charities. So wherever you are, if you are able to, um, please do chuck a charity of your choice some money because, yeah, it just it's costing more and more for charities to operate. Um, Will, have you remembered anything else that you would? Yes, I have. Um, <laughs> it's almost out. like we had that prepared. Shout out to Storehouse, who are linked with. Who are Storehouse? Uh, so they work as part of the uh, Signpost Services Group, um, based up in uh, Rising Brook and near Elevate on Highfields. Um, and we've been talking to them for a little bit of time, not really sort of nailed down how we would process things. We have now. Um, so when people move into flats, very often they need furniture, they need the household items. We can do the household items like the linen and the cutlery and so forth. And storehouse can very often do the sofas, the settees, the beds and other things. Um, so we've just sort of formalised that in a bit more of a better way. So we know how to refer in. Uh, Ashley, email's coming to you. Um, and I just want to shout out and say thank you guys because that's, uh, that's a good, good bit of joined up work. Fantastic. Yeah, no, that is great because we don't have the storage space no. for the items. So, and they do, so that's fantastic. Uh, my brain thought and remembered something else. It is now gone. Um, I got distracted by something oh. else, uh, as is the way that we operate at House of Bread. But it will rise to the top at some point. Thank you very much, Will, for Thank joining you, me. Thank you, as ever. Apologies, this has gone up a day late. Um, I am rushing off when I've finished here I'm rushing off somewhere else so I'll only be able to edit this on Monday so it's going up on Monday sorry if you were looking for it yesterday I don't think we've got anybody that dedicated have we Will? Uh, Mr Carter? Well maybe yeah. <laughs> we haven't promised anyone that we'll mention them but no. that's usually where people are like where is it? Um, I will in a, uh, endeavour to upload them all onto YouTube I can say that every week to remind myself and I should edit these back to do that um, I mentioned earlier the cost of living crisis videos just scroll yeah. down on Facebook you will see the rest of those they always go up on a Wednesday really really important advice like and share those because it does it's not Stafford specific it's not House no. of Bread specific it helps everyone um, but lastly thank you very much for always watching these we shall see you next time thank you very much for watching I've repeated myself goodbye <laughs>